Game Methuselah here, again. This is the interesting time in painting. This is when the figures are starting to come along and the metal magic kicks in. I was going out to watch TV and I had this voice in my head said, don't go out there and watch Westworld. You only pretend to know what's going on in that show anyway. Come up and paint some me some more. I, I want to live. Now, I'm sure it just could be a tumor in my head, but you know, you never know. A couple things to look at as we're continuing to paint here. One, I found something a flaw that I missed. I don't know whether you're going to pick it up. It's a little darker now. There's a line that's showing right along here. Um, I maybe should have taken a little more aggressive tact and, and set it up because I thought it would disappear, but it's still there. Don't like it. Not likely I'm going to do much about it now, but for you who get yours, just be cognizant of that. Um, everything else seems pretty good. Um, I'm not really seeing any lines, so everything else I think I did turned out pretty nice. A couple things, too. I've been trying different techniques to get the, the gem facets working, and they're not so hard, but the shards are a problem. I think I've come across the one I'm going to use, A, because it's fast, and B, because I think it looks pretty good. It would have looked substantially better if this dragon was a straight tannish brown, like the artist rendering, but, you know, this is what I've got. So what I did is I painted the shard white, solid white, not dry brushed, and then I just took ink wash and laid it on the base and then brushed it up the level of shard. So I'm not sure you can see it, but hopefully when we're finished, you'll be able to see a little better. Right now, the light's sort of fading on me, and I'm up into my close-up light right now to do a little bit of work. But I think this is going to work. It's fast, as I think you'll see, and um, I think it's going to give a pretty nice effect when we're done. I'm pretty happy with it. So what I came up here to do now is use my Palm Wonderful, apparently, for um, cleaning the brushes. No, it's not a good plan. Um, my Palm I should drink and not use it for cleaning brushes. I got my black, so I'm going to go ahead and do all the, the black pieces, the talons and the claws. And I think that's going to be a pretty nice effect for this figure. I thought about doing the teeth as well, because um, that's kind of how it shows it on the artist rendering. Um, the thing is that the teeth are such a non-significant item in the picture. I'm not sure I really want to do anything with them. I kind of think what I might just do is kind of at the end, maybe give them a little gray highlight paint and then give them a black wash so that they end up looking black. Um, I'm, sure I'm trying to keep this in the camera, sorry if I'm not. Um, but this is the work that's pretty close. And the sad part is with my old eyes, I often in close-up work get pretty close to the figure. So if I pull this out of view, I apologize, but hopefully I'll be able to show it back to you again. Again, what I'm gonna do here is, as I mentioned, is I'm gonna paint these black, and then I'm going to give them a red dry brush. And then maybe even depending if I, I'm, you know, and I'm getting away from my speed painting chops here, I might give them a red wash too, depending upon whether it really seems to make a difference. Um, yeah, unfortunately, pulling this thing out of the framework now is not going to help you because all my overhead light is now up close. And once I pull it out from under that light, but I don't, I think you can maybe see the detail as it starts, as I start to move it around, even in the dimmer light. Uh, you can see it really does sort of chump out, and I, I'm pretty pleased with all of that. Now, for painting the uh, the gem, the faceted gems, you might see here, and again, maybe you won't, but you'll see when I start doing a lot of the close-up figures, is I just give this section where all the scales are a very light tan or white dry brush, and then I go back in and do red um, washes, and then it fills up, and the Red fills up on the top, like a top facet of a gem, and that'll look pretty good. And again, all of this is based upon my one big parameter, which you've heard me obviously repeat many times before, speed, speed, speed. Get it done, get it fast, make it look good, but get it on the board. Get it, play it. Get it out there killing player... Uh, having player characters enjoy competition with the dragon. Uh this is really pretty part. This is when it gets kind of fun. I mean, for me, I, get to, I like doing little detail work. Um, it's it's enjoyable. Anyway, so I've just got the call. If you can't see them, maybe you can. I'll hang them back. The, the claws are all black now. I'm going to go ahead and do the little claws on its feet and do the same. And then I will, again, 
you know, go back and finish them the same way. This is pretty good. It It's an effect that'll work. I'm actually using a kind of paint that I really hated. This, I shouldn't, shouldn't disparage companies, but for some reason this paint never worked well for me. Um, and their paint black comes out kind of glossy and I always kind of hated it because of that. Uh, but for this, it's going to do really well. This is going to be kind of a little careful in here when the pieces start to wrap around and get a little closer because you don't want to accidentally uh, put black on your other figure. But if you do, and believe me, over the years, I surely have, um, it's not that hard to fix. You know, everything, as I said, yeah, I showed you, you can always come back because this is really kind of the secret of the speed painting is you just, you, have, you slop it on, you get it going, and then you can come back later and fix uh, any of the problems. So two wing talons, two claws, two feet. I don't think there's going to be anything that's going to be black. I could, I could do the teeth, but I think I'm, I think that's a mistake. I think my other idea is more likely a little smarter. So I'm going to stick with that. So while I'm going, now I'm going to go ahead and do what I had planned um, and show you. I'm not so sure I want to run this video the whole time. Maybe I will just because I can yammer and maybe people like to hear that. I don't know, is I'm going to go ahead and paint all the shards white, which is actually going to take the long and tedious most part of it because there really are quite a few. And then what I will do after that is I will do a whitish dry brush very lightly along any places where I'm going to have sort of the faceted gems coming up. And then after that, what we'll do, and I don't know whether we'll do it here, is I will then go ahead and, and do the, like I said, the red washes in here and all the areas that are not are going to get a brown wa dry a brown wash. So I'm going to make the dragon again more brown physically and uh, the red area is obviously more prominently red. So again, all we do here is we just get the shards, paint them white. I really should have used better paint for this. I do apologize, even though I am a cheap bastard. Um, I do have some good paint. I just, for some reason, have really wanted to use Steve's paints on these. Uh, they're getting to the point where I'm very shortly going to end up having to throw them away. And I thought he should get a couple last hurrahs with getting his paint out there. I really wish he was here actually to paint this. He's really been a good master at painting um, monsters. Now, I'm not as worried about sometimes it comes over again when you're doing things. Sometimes you get a little overage. That's not really a problem. Uh, again, when you add the different colors, either brown or the red for the shard, it's all going to end up looking really good. It's all going to blend in and it'll just look like some additional shading. If worse comes to worse again and you don't like it, you can always just touch it up with a regular paint and do whatever. And that that's kind of the secret. Don't waste your time trying to get it perfect out of the gate. You're better off just getting the paint on it and then coming back and looking at it, seeing what you like, leaving what you like alone and what you don't like, um, you touch up, you fix. And that's why never, never panic, never worry about it. I've been kind of lucky though I should keep my mouth shut and not curse myself that I really haven't had any kind of major botches up here. Um, it's been going actually pretty smooth. And I do like this figure. And people had, some people said they thought it was a little small. And I surely did not. In fact, I cannot conceive of a dragon a much larger than this that I could really toss at a party. Mostly throughout my career, in fact, Don and I had this conversation. I said, I don't think in 40 years of playing I've ever played more than four dragons. Uh, the real reason is kind of simple. Don and I said, if, if you're throwing a dragon at someone and they don't wipe the party out, you more than likely weren't trying. You know, Dragons did not get to be the alpha creature in most games um, by losing to player characters. Did I find a flaw I missed? I did. Oh, that's a... There's a small piece of flash here that I must have missed overlooked back here. But it kind of looks like a bit of a, of a scale, so I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. I can I can cut it off and then retouch everything up, which I might do. Or I might just pretend you guys didn't see that and paint it maybe as a part of an extending shard or just a scale or something. And no one will know because I don't think any of you guys will tell anybody, right? 
Sorry for the lull. Uh, it's, it, this is the kind of boring part, and I, I don't know. I don't want to edit it out, because people, last time when I sped things up and edited it out, everyone was like, oh, I didn't see this, I didn't see that. So I guess at this point, I wanted everyone to see it, even though, quite frankly, this is kind of duller than dishwater, but is a part of the fig. For some reason, when I'm painting, is I really like, because this is kind of the relaxing time, when you can just sort of sit up here and it's quiet, and no one's going to bother you. All your little errands are done. And you can just get the paint going on. And miniatures are fun. I mean, I I really feel badly for people who actually don't like to paint. You know, I, I the people who worry they can't paint because they don't have a skill, that's kind of what my channel on the painting is all about. The idea that I have no skill, yet I can paint pretty competently. Um, and I think anybody who puts out any effort and wants to do it can end up becoming really quite a fabulous painter. It's not that hard. It is real fun. It's really relaxing. It's less relaxing when I'm talking to you, but uh, it is it is pretty fun. I'm going to go ahead and finish up. I got a bunch more of these, and, and you've already seen the concept of what I'm doing. I don't know how visible it is. These are all going to eventually be reddish going up to the bottom. And I think I repainted the one I already did that I liked. Oh, well. Um, and they're going to then you know, all be looking like the little shards. And it should look pretty good. Then again, when I wash the dragon brown, which I will show you, and then we'll do the red washes, which I'll also show you in the other detail work, you'll be able to see the finishing touches. But like I said, if if I had nothing else to do, it's very likely um, I could have banged this dragon out in one day max. And that, you know, even then is just a few hours. Mostly it's waiting for things to dry. The actual brush time tends not to be that long. I'm pleased with this figure. I'm going to be really pleased to see some, some guys who have some real talent paint it and see some real beautiful pieces. But I think, um, all in all, uh, for a first kick out the door, uh, I'm happy with it. I haven't painted a dragon in a few years for reasons I just mentioned. And I think this is a pretty attractive dragon. So enjoy, and we'll be back to later to show you the final, and hopefully we'll do one more video to, to cap it off, and you'll get to see how it looks when we're done. And I'll do the ground cover and everything, so it'll all be good. So until we get a chance to talk again, assuming my dragon doesn't force me to do another video later, fight me devils, fight, for I hate peace, and paint on. Good night, everybody.